today I want to share with you just a couple of my very favorite Osborne books. If you're not familiar with Nibbles, Nibbles is one of our best selling books and Nibbles is a book eating monster. The really nice thing about this book is that for those kids that like some texture, um, there's like a cutout here of Nibbles on the front of this cover. Um, it's a nice hard bound book and then again a nice little picture of Nibbles here with um, the outline of him cut out in the book. And then we've also got a lot of the lift the flaps in this book. So the story starts out, this is a story about a little monster called Nibbles. And there's a picture of Nibbles. And the book continues. Nibbles likes to nibble soap. Nibbles, oh, Nibbles likes to nibble soap, and Nibbles nibble socks. Nibbles chomps on rubber ducks. Nibbles loves to nibble toes. And Nibbles nibbles hooks, but Nibbles' favorite thing to nibble on is books. As so you can see, kind of Nibbles chewing on all these different books, and oh my gosh, what's this? There's a hole in the page. Nibbles has found his way into a library of all kinds of books. And then um, you've got Nibbles' footprints all over these um, these two pages. And then eventually he makes his way into a book here. You can see, uh, you can see, it's hard to see, oh, there he is. <laughs> um, you can see that he's actually diving headfirst into a book. So as we turn the page, we find out that he has nibbled his way into the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And what's really cool about this is that there's this is a little miniature book of Goldilocks and the Three Bears within the larger book. So he jumps in the little, um, sorry, he jumps into Goldilocks and the Three Bears and he completely changes their story. And so um, eventually he, he chooses his way out of the story and instead moves on to Little Red Riding Hood and then he changes that story. So the really fun thing about this book is not only these little bit of little bitty books inside the larger book, but it's also our favorite fairy tales that are getting a new spin thanks to Nibbles. And then he moves into Jack and the Beanstalk and he makes his way out of that book. And then he goes into Rapunzel. Uh, and so at the end of the book, your job is to capture Nibbles. We don't want him eating through any of our books. But then you turn the page and you say, what is that? Nibble, no, no, not you. Oh my gosh, look, Nibbles has escaped. And so there's even a wanted poster on the back. We've got to find Nibbles. Well, Nibbles' next adventure is into a dinosaur guide. So this book starts out as you're, um, you're reading about dinosaurs. You're enjoying your dinosaur guide, learning all about these massive creatures. When, what do you find? Got a hole in the page. Nibbles has chewed his way into the dinosaur page. Or I'm sorry, into the dinosaur guide. So you go through, and this book also has several lift the flaps. What's really fun about this one is, is this says, uh, uninvited Nibbles. And then you have his characteristics, um, special data about Nibbles. This one is his classification. But what I really like, especially like about this one, this classification, uh, or I'm sorry, his characteristics, is that Goldilocks and the Three Bears are right here. And it says, he ruined our fairy tale. So that's a nice little reference to uh, the previous Nibbles book. And then again, another with the flap. And so you make your way through the dinosaur guide here. You're learning a lot about the Triceratops. Um, until Nibbles decides to eat um, another hole in the page. Here's another lift the flap. So you make your way through this book, the Greek Your Dinosaur Guide. Here's another lift the flap. And again, you're, this book is really uh, full of a lot of uh, facts and interesting uh, data that we've learned about the dinosaurs. So you're, you're learning as you're following Nibbles' adventure. And then, oh my gosh, look, the T-Rex has eaten Nibbles. But not for long, because he spits him right back out. And Nibbles probably doesn't taste very good. So he gets spit out and he goes into outer space. 
So here's hoping that there will be a third installment of Noble's Adventures and perhaps it'll be something about outer space. And then as if the two books aren't enough, we also have a Noble's plush. So this is a corduroy uh, body and some little soft fuzzy ears. So uh, get your Noble's little plush and your Noble's uh, Bucketty Monster and your Noble's Dinosaur book. Thank you.